Hey guys, Mount Baker Mining and Metals. Today we're going to run a sample of PC boards through our hammer mill and shaker table, crush them up, and try and get the precious metals and base metals out of them. This is a bunch of cell phone boards, and we're going to run these through our PCB system and try and recover the precious metals off them. And these are going to go right into our small 16 by 12 hammer mill. We're going to run a 0.8 millimeter slot and we're going to run them down onto the table and concentrate the precious metals and the copper over. And then these are uh, two different samples. These are uh, large industrial computer boards. These are all the depopulated components off of those boards. And we're going to run these two separate as well. So we'll take all these depopulated components, we'll run them right in our 16 by 12 hammer mill and onto the table. But these big ones, we're going to pre-shred first through one of our 24 by 16 HD mills. I'm going to feed the whole boards into the throat of the hammer mill here. We're going to grind up with the swing hammers on our hammer mill. And we have a one inch slotted screen here. And all that material is going to come out the bottom. It's going to go up this conveyor belt under a cross belt magnet. It'll pull off the steel, but we're going to actually put the steel back into the sample to run it through uh, our hammer mill because there are some precious metals that are attached to some of the magnetic components. So we're going to save everything, but anything that's not magnetic is going to come up here, and we're just going to catch it here in the garbage can, and then we'll take it over and we'll run our, run our sample um, on our trigger table. We'll take a little walk through our system here. This is what we call our small turnkey PCB system. This is a 16 inch by 12 inch hammer mill. It's got a rotor on this uh, shaft here that spins around in this case. A bunch of hammers attached to the rotor and they just beat anything that goes down the chute here. There's a screen that goes all the way 180 degrees along the bottom of the mill here. And this screen has 1.2 millimeter slots that are about one inch long. And a whole the whole screen's covered in those. And then it comes down this chute onto one of our four foot by eight foot shaker tables. Everything that's light, a lot of this stuff will float in water, but light fiberglass, plastic, uh, anything that's uh, that's has a density of about three grams per cubic centimeter or less will come down here into the number four, the waste trough. The metals that are uh, heavier, but still not heavy enough to get up the ramp here, Aluminum is a good example. We'll come down right here at the base of the ramp and into the number three middlings port. I'll get a bucket under there to catch those. And then all your copper, your steel, anything denser than about five grams per cubic centimeter. There's a little ramp built in the table. You can see these four long grooves. Those metals will come up the ramp under this diagonal water bar onto what we call the cleaning plane. There's another little flat spot up there and they will come down into the number one and the number two high grade concentrates. And you're gonna get, you'll see a little bit cleaner, higher grade stuff come down in the number one, more of the dense stuff will come down here. If there's a huge volume of copper or steel, a lot of it will go into the number two. We have our two safety grooves here in the table that catch anything that kind of overflows down here, it'll bring it over to the number two. So very, unless, unless the table is completely overwhelmed with copper, which I have seen before, but almost all the copper and the gold and the dense metals will come down here and uh, the light stuff will come down here. But if, if the table gets overwhelmed, you'll get a little bit of copper contamination into the number three. We have two pumps. There's a three phase pump here that pumps a large volume of water up into the back of the hammer mill here and that helps uh, the crushing and the stuff that flows down onto the table. We have another pump over here that feeds the water bars to the shaker table and uh, everything, all the water flows down the table. The table slanted downhill towards the number four tailings and all the water flows off carrying anything light with it down into the number four to be recirculated through the system again. So we'll get this thing fired up and uh, we'll see what we can do with these samples.
All right, so here's our number one and our number two from the cell phone boards. This is the number one, and there's some copper in here, but there's quite a bit of pins as well and gold-plated stuff. That's where all the real high-grade precious metals are. And then over here is the number two. And again, there's some pins in here, but it's a lot more copper. It's a lot more red. And so this is where the vast majority... This is where the vast majority of the precious metals is going to be. Now we'll go take a look at the number three and the number four. Here's the number three middlings first. And there is a huge amount of copper in here. It's mostly copper. The bucket's quite heavy. And we tuned our splitter to where we took just a little bit of fiberglass in with the copper to try and minimize any loss of copper to the tailings. And then here's our number four tailings bucket. And this is just the stuff that settled out. There's probably quite a bit more in here that ended up flowing out of this bucket but it's almost all fiberglass. There's a few little copper flakes in there. But as far as, you know, the amount of copper, there's, there's hardly any. I, there's not a percent. There's probably less than a half a percent. All right, here's our results from the whole populated board, and it looks very similar to the cell phone results. Here's uh, some copper, lots of pins, uh, white metal in there, and that's where a lot of your precious metals are going to be. And then here's the number two, quite a bit more red metal. There's still a few pins and stuff in there, but uh, a lot more copper. Here's the number three middlings, a lot of copper and a little bit of the resin. 
And then here's the number four, which again is, is mostly 100% plastic and resin. And these boards are somewhere in the range of uh, about 100 to 200 grams a ton of gold and about 400 grams a ton. All right, so here's the results from our depopulated boards, and this is just the components. Here's the number one, and it's just full of pins and white metal. There's very, very little copper in there. There was actually hardly any copper on the table um, when we were running because we didn't have any of the boards. And then here is the number two. There's definitely some copper in there, but a lot of pins... A lot of the plated stuff. So those are the one and two, and that's where most of the metal is. Uh, here's the number three. And there's some metal in there, but a lot of it's aluminum, I think from the aluminum heat sinks. A lot of plastic, both black and white, and very little red metal or valuable metal. And then this is the number four, which is just plastic there's there's hardly any metal in there at all i don't actually see any metal all right guys well thanks for watching our tests I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh if you have any interest in any of our equipment you can find our contact information down below in the corner